Welcome to another episode of 420 Grams on NewsClick.in. We're at the, the finals of the FC Bayern uh, Youth Cup, the in India finals of this event. And with us is uh, legendary left-back, World Cup winner, European Championship winner, Champions League winner, multiple Bundesliga winner, Bishanti Lizarazu. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us this afternoon. And of course, Arjun Pandit, uh, the co-host of this show. Uh, Bishanti, would you, uh, like we, uh, a lot of the kids in India, who watch sports content is generally ranging from the age of 8 to 12. So for those young boys who are watching right now, would you suggest till what age should they continue playing 5-a-side football, 6-a-side football and what is the right time to graduate to then playing 11-a-side football for you? Uh, <coughs> when uh, I was maybe 14, I started to play 11. First time? Yeah. But it doesn't matter, you know, it's the same. Play five against five, seven against seven. <coughs> this is uh, two goals and uh, one ball and opponents. This is the same football. <coughs> when you play 11th, maybe it's a little bit more tactical because you have more players. And um, the space is bigger, so you must have better physical condition. But it uh, doesn't matter if you, you play uh, maybe till 16, 7 against 7, doesn't matter. Uh, you play football, you make dribblings, you make pass, you make shoots, and so you are training your ability. But of course, one day, uh, you have to play 11 against 11 because uh, the big, the big um, teams, they play uh, this football. Even if football, you have many things you can play. Such fields, 5 against 5, uh, you can play in little fields two against two. Everything is possible. So just taking off on that, what is your general sort of view in terms of a philosophy of youth development? If we're trying to encourage kids to play football in the right way, let's say, what, what is that right way in your opinion? The right way, in my opinion... Especially is, for young kids. Yeah, for young kids to train the technique, first of all. For a young player, I don't care about uh, physical training. I want that football is just fun and fun with the ball and training the ability with the ball. So making a lot of exercise uh, will train your ability with the ball, dribbling, uh, jungling, um, touching the ball, you know, to be easy with the ball. Mm -hmm. The ball has to be part of you. You know, the ball has to be friend. You have to be part of you. And when you are okay with the ball, when the ball is not a problem anymore, it's like a part of you, then you can start to play with the others. But to start to play with the others, this is another thing, you know. To have the ability of the ball, to control the ball, it's one thing. And then to play with the others, different, because you have to understand the way they are playing. To try to play together, you know. Mm -hmm to make a pass together with three guys. Um, so this is another thing to learn, step by step. But right. very young, only ability with the ball. Individual technique. Mm -hmm. And I will say that uh, I, will, I, I, I prefer to leave uh, freedom to the young player, mm -hmm. even if I make too much dribbling. Okay, no problem. doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Later, I will suggest to have more uh, organization, more discipline, you know. But young, freedom, pleasure, fun. Bishanta, just taking cue from that, uh, I was reading up on you. And it was said very early on in your career as a young player, you were said you're not strong enough to play professional football. Now, it's something an Indian player can relate to because we're not generally the most physically strong and big boys to succeed in the world of football, if I may say. What advice would you have to these kids? Because you're the perfect uh, role model and example for that. Well, you, I think football is sports um, uh, fantastic because you don't have to be the strongest. You don't have to be two meters and 100 kilo. You have a lot of player, little player, very good. And the best at the moment is Lionel Messi. He's 169, yeah. like me. <laughs> and so he's the best one. And you have player of 190, two meters, and he's the best. 
And so this is a sport who give the chance to players who are not strong, very strong physically, very big. And um, of course, uh, if you are not strong like others, you must be more clever. You have to think more than the others uh, to make the difference. The others, they can make the difference because they are stronger, they will run quickly, they will have more power. But uh, there is many ways to play football. Player like Xavi Iniesta, uh, you know, it's not player strong. They are so quick and so good technically and so clever that they are better than the other one. And my position, I was defensive player. Um, I was uh, very good in the timing to also I had uh, um, good aggressivity to be good in defense. Uh, I was quick. Uh, a lot of so, heart. So yeah, it was not a problem. And for me, it was like a challenge to play against player bigger than me, <laughs> trying to beat him. You, you're always up for that challenge, aren't you? Yeah, I love this kind of challenge. Yes, it was like a challenge in the match, you know, you have the match, you have to win and also if my opponent was really bigger than me, my challenge it was to <laughs> kill him. That's way sweet. In the sports way, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. The we sports were, way. <laughs> uh, in fact, we were just talking to a boy uh, who's going to Viking, he's going to a club called Viking in Norway for a trial. He's also 167. Uh, and, and so we were just having the same discussion, like how is he preparing the Norwegian league? I'd imagine there are a lot of big players, yeah. <laughs> a lot of big guys. I right? remember when I arrived in Germany, never see that uh, in French league, you know. It was like seven or eight players, more than 190. So I imagine in Norvege, <laughs> this is the, the same, yeah. maybe all the players like 190. Yeah. But Bishanta, then what sort of an advice would you give, say to a kid like that, who's got four days to impress a club in Norway, with the weather changing and of course the physicality, the intensity being so much. If you're overawed in one or two days, trial over, game done and dusted. So then, how do you get set for something like that? Yeah, but the, you know, the adaptation, it's not easy, but you know, it's taking time, you know. It's, uh, I had, uh, when I arrived in the Bordeaux, in the football school, I had two years very difficult too, two years, where the trainer was saying, uh, you are not uh, strong enough, you will not uh, be a professional of football because you are too little. And How you, old were you at this point? I was 14 years old. So during two years, 14 till 16, nobody was believing in me, except me. So first of all, you have to believe a lot in you and you have to train a lot. I was making a lot of training, individual training, uh, physical training, you know, to, to, to change that. And so, even if uh, a trainer tell you you're not good enough, you have to be believe in you, you know. Maybe it's true what he's saying, but, uh, you know, I believe that uh, you, you can't say anything, uh, you know, like uh, end of the street, uh, till 20 years old, you know, because when you are young, the evolution of young players so changing a lot, you know. Um, and so in my case, you know, the trainer was talking too much. It was too, uh, too, too quick to say that. And I show that um, I was good enough uh, because uh, I had the talent and also because I was working for that. So then adaptation, you go in another country, you have to adapt to to the way of playing, to the temperature sometimes yeah. when you arrive in Germany or in Norwegian. Or in India in the summertime. Yeah, <laughs> right. So you have to adapt. Yeah. Bishante, we were uh, talking about Bordeaux, about your early years at Bordeaux as well. And you've been very successful at that club, played a long time there. A certain Zinedine Zidane was part of that team as well. <laughs> Zinedine Zidane. Could you, could you give us a... Who, who is this player? <laughs> a, a Zidane story, uh, Bishante, from that time. Because they've, in a, I was reading his book and they said very early on you could see his touch, the weight of his pass. It was pretty evident from very early on in his career. Could you tell us something from that time? Well, when we arrived in Bordeaux, um, you have a special technique. Uh, it was not a normal technique you learn in football school. It was a technique coming from the street because he played a lot on the street 
and you have different way of making dribblings. Like, um, you know, the special things Dizidane was doing on the field, you know, it's not something everybody was doing. And so we said, wow, this guy, um, he have really incredible technique, incredible dribbling. But when he arrived in Bordeaux, he was not really fit, you know, he was not strong physically. So you have to train a lot to be stronger physically and uh, step by step, you know, month after month, year after year, he improved and uh, uh, the physical condition was better. And so with the technique he had, he became a better player, a uh, very good player, fantastic player, legend player. One of the uh, only players. Uh, God player. God player, yeah. <laughs> but he wouldn't talk much, right? That's what, uh, no. what I was reading in the book. He would barely talk. No. And on the he's field, he would always talk. He's a shy guy. He was a shy guy when he was a, a football player. He changed a little bit when he became captain of France, but after, let's say, our generation, we stopped in 2000. Um, we, no, we stopped in 2004, and in 2006, he decided to be a leader. Because before it was other leaders, so he didn't want to be a leader, but 2006 he decided to be a leader, and so he was talking more. And the big change was when he became trainer. Because really, it's the change of Zidane, uh, his personality changed a lot. He was more open, speaking more, explaining. He was not explaining when he was a football player. He was just playing and it was easy. <laughs> but uh, when he became trainer, then he had to talk. He had to explain the project to the player, to explain the project to the, fa to the fans and to the media. And uh, it was new Zidane, incredible. The legends that you have played with and are among, uh, 20 years after you guys won the World Cup in 98, France did it again in Russia. How do you compare these two teams uh, just in terms of their style of play? Of course, it's very different. And yeah. the run that they had was very different from the run that you guys had through to the final and then to win it. But how do you compare the two in terms of makeup of the squad and how it sort of reflects uh, where French society is also gone or is going over the last 20 years? Because football often sort of explains other things about what's happening in the world as well, not just... Yeah, it, it, it's difficult to, to compare, of course, because, uh, um, you know, our ger generation, we had success during many years. We had success in 98, we have success in 2000. We were the best team in, in the world during maybe four years. Uh, and now, you know, we the football 20 years ago, and this time they start the story, you know, and they start yeah, the story the winning <laughs> the, the World, World Cup, Cup <laughs> which is great. Yeah. This is a good start. Yeah. And they will have the chance to, to make a better story, winning maybe European Championship, maybe winning another World Cup, we don't know. But uh, the way of playing is different, the way we were playing, the way they were playing, it's a control team, uh, this team. We were more in control, we had very strong defense. Yeah. We had Zidane, they had Mbappe. Uh, but if I have to say a point which is the same, uh, this is um, the spirit and the mentality, um, the preparation. I think the team, this team was very well prepared. Didier Deschamps was uh, really making a good job and with the same strategy um, regarding the spirit of the team as Aimé Jacquet. Mm -hmm very good spirit right, yeah. of the team and we had also very good spirit but they were they are younger than us For sure. uh, you know very young team yeah, very so young. it's not the same mentality of course we were player 28 29 30 years old yeah. and it was player 70, 20 years 80, 21 20 years. Yeah, the age keeps dropping yeah. Bishente, year yeah, yeah. so so it's not the same to manage uh, totally different yeah mentality yeah, yeah totally different in this aspect I'll just end it on this, Bishente. Would you ever put a number on a country aiming for something like the World Cup, which has now become a 48-team World Cup? Would you ever put a number in terms of, say, you have to give yourself at least 20 years or 24 years to even yes. think of getting there? And, and I'm, 20 might be even less, I'm saying. I mean, might be more given how world football is growing right now. You it's see what Qatar, Qatar did right now at the Asian Cup. I mean. Yeah, it's very difficult to say 
yeah, it's very difficult to say, maybe 20 years, but uh, if you look Europe, uh, let's say that the 60s, the 70s, was a moment where football started to be very important, where everybody wants to play football. Because this is, this is the point, you know, it's uh, uh, football, why uh, um, is improving a lot? Because, for example, in Europe or in South America, every child wants to play football. So at school is playing football, uh, with his friend they're playing football, you know. So that's why if you start young, of course you practice more, you know. So we had like seven, you know, like 50 years. 50 years to have this level, let's say. So 50 years, long time. So we are talking about 20. 50 years, a lot of work as well. 50 years with a lot of work, yes. But with 20 years, I imagine you can qualify for World Cup if you manage it well um, in different aspects, uh, especially the trainer and the way of training you, and the training you give to your young players. All right. So long, long, long road ahead, but a uh, good start. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah. no. To finish, it was too long. <laughs> I'm sorry. I talked too much. No, no, it's good. <laughs> uh, we, it was great to have you on the show. You're the first World Cup winner, first Euro winner, first Champions League winner that we've had. So thanks so much for taking so much time Thank to you. talk to us. And maybe you will learn me how to play cricket. Yeah. I, I don't know if I, I'm any good at that. But <laughs> <laughs> But maybe Pandit can That's a it. myth, Vishanta, that everyone plays cricket in this yeah, country. Okay. It's, not it's not true. It's not true. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you again next week.